Now the next problem we are going to consider is uh, also involving uh, tensile stress. So as is stated on the problem, the circular tension member made of AISI, 1045 steel as roll, carries a load of 10,000 pounds. Repeat. Determine its diameter based on yield strength and ultimate strength. So we have here a tension member which is subjected to a tension force. And we are asked to find for the diameter. So we are given here the material is AISI 1045 steel as roll, the force 10,000 pounds repeated but not reversed. Then we are required to find for the diameter based on yield strength and the diameter based on ultimate strength. So the solution will start always from taking the property of the material itself, which in this case, from table 87, page 576, the sign of machine elements by Birgit Morin Fairs, the yield strength is 59 KSI, the ultimate strength is 96 KSI. Then from page 20, design of machine element by Birhil Morin Fairs for a repeated but not reverse slope. The factor of safety based on is three and factor of safety based on ultimate is six. So we consider the dimension based on the design based on yield strength. Which the design stress SDY is equal to SY yield strength over the factor of safety based on yield. So that is 59 KSI over 3, that will give us 19.67 KSI. From the equation, design stress based on yield is equal to F over A. We will have here that is 19,670 pounds per inch squared. That is the equivalent of 19.67 KSI. Will now be equal to 10,000 pounds over the cross-sectional area of the tension member pi d squared over 4. So that d squared is equal to 4 times 10,000 pounds over pi multiplied by 19,670 pounds per inch squared. Pounds and pounds here cancels out. The inch squared unit will go up which will be the, dia the unit for the diameter. So that D will now be equal to the square root of 4 times 10,000 over 5 multiplied by 19,670. The unit is in square, and we will have the value at 0.80 for of an inch. So this 0 0.804 of an inch, the same thing with uh, the previous problem, we are going to uh, have or take the preferred size. So based on the computed value of 0 0.804, the lower value for this, or this 0 0.804 is within the range of 7 over 8 
to three. So the denominator of the fraction of an inch that we can use is over eight. So the, the denominator of the fraction that we can use is over eight. This is equivalent to seven over eight. That is 0.785, which is the lower value of 0.804. The higher value will then be one. So before we will be able to use the higher value of one, we check first the difference, percentage difference between the computed value and the lower value, which we will be able to see that the percentage difference is less than four to five percent. So in that case, we can use now the lower value. That is why we can use T equal to seven over eight for the diameter of the uh, circular tension member based on yield strength. Now, based on ultimate strength, the only difference that we will have in here is the design stress. The design stress based on ultimate will be equal to SU over NU which is 96 squares I divided by 6, that will give us 16,000 KSI. From the design, based on ultimate, that will be equal to F over A, substituting all values, we will have 16,000 KSI equal to 4 times 10,000 pounds all over 5D square. T now will be equal to the square root of 4 times 10,000 over 5 multiplied by 16,000 that is in terms of the inch square which will yield to a 0.795 of an inch. So this Point seven nine five of an inch. This is still within the range of seven over eight to three. So from there, we are going to make use of the denominator of the fraction of an inch that is over eight. So that is this is our computed value. The lower value will then be 0.785. Higher value is 1. If we check the percentage difference in here, that is still less than 4 to 5%. So we use the lower value. That is why we use here that is 7 over eight of an inch for the diameter of the tension member. So that is the diameter that we can have based on him and based on ultimate for the circular tension member we have here on this problem. Now the next problem we are going to consider will be will be a uh, a problem involving compressive stress. So the next problem we have in here involving compressive stress. That is, we have here a piston rod made of AISI 1137 OQT 1000 degrees Fahrenheit is subjected to a repeated reverse load. The rod is for a 10 inches air compressor 
where the maximum pressure is 200 psi. Compute the diameter of the rod based on ultimate. So we have here the cylinder, we have here the piston, and this is now the piston rod. This is the one that we are going to consider with a circular cross section having a diameter of uh, the small letter D, which this is the one that we are going to find. So we are given in here the material AISI 1137 OQT 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. The load is repeated and reversed. The diameter of the cylinder is 10 inches and the maximum pressure is 200 PSI. So we are asked to find for the diameter of the rod based on ultimate strength. So this the start of the solution is taking the property of the material itself, which we can see from table 89, page 579, design of machine elements by here, here, morning page. That is, the ultimate strength is given at 100. 11 KSI. So to be able to find for the diameter, first we consider the design stress based on ultimate, which is equal to the ultimate strength over the factor of safety based on ultimate. So that is 111 KSI divided by 6, or that is equal to 18.5 KSI. For the design stress based on ultimate, that will be equal to F over A. First, we have to find for the value of the force that will act on the, on the uh, piston. So the force that will act on the piston will be the same force that will act on the piston rod. So to be able to find for the force that will be acting on the piston, that will be equal to the pressure multiplied by the cross-sectional area of the piston, or F now is equal to the maximum force multiplied by the area of the cross section of the cylinder, which is the same area of the piston here. So that will be equal to F is equal to the maximum pressure of 200 pounds per inch squared multiplied by the quantity pi multiplied by 10 inch squared over 4. That is the diameter of the piston, which will now be equal to 15,707.96. To find for the diameter of the rod, we will have it equal to the design stress based on ultimate equal to F over A. The area now in here will be equal to the area of the piston rod or the connecting rod. So that is equal to pi D square over 4. Substituting all values, we will have here 18.5 KSI is equal to 15,707.96 pounds 
over pi t squared of the rat over 4. Or that is, the diameter will now be equal to 1.039. So we have here the computed value, 1.039 over H. So this, this uh, computed value, this is still within the range of uh, 7 over 8 to 3. So if it is within the range of 7 over 8, to three, the denominator of the fraction that we can use is over A. So we consider the lower value and the higher value. So we have here that is for the lower value, that is one. And the higher value is 1.125, which this 1.125 is equivalent to 1 and 1 eighth of an eighth. So this is the higher value, and that is the lower value. So simply by inspection without, without a computation, we can now decide whether we may choose of the lower value or we may choose of the higher value. Simply by inspection, the difference between these two is 0 0.039. 0 0.039, that will be the difference. Now, if we move the decimal place, say three places to the right, that will give us 39. 39 divided by 1,039. 39 divided by 1,039. So that is, that will be by inspection, we can see that that is lower than 4%. So if it is lower than 4%, the diameter of the piston rod that we can use is the lower value, which is 1 inch. So that is now 1 inch, meaning we have here a 1.039 interest. And we will use one inch in here. If we use one inch, if this is still safe for the piston rod or the connecting rod, as is stated by the condition that we can use a lower value if the difference from the computed value is less than 4 to 5 percent. So uh, you might be wondering why the problem was uh, computed simply based on ultimate. Now, this is uh, simply computed based on ultimate strength it is because our material is AISI 1137 OQT 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. Meaning to say this material being heat treated, the material now becomes a brittle material, which we have stated before that when we have a brittle material, we will only consider the design based on 
ultimate. That is why this is based on ultimate. So it is a brittle material. OQT 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, meaning to say it is heated to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit. The material, the material is heated to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit and at that temperature it was quenched. It was quenched. And the quenching medium is oil. That is why OQT, oil quench and tempered. It is tempered using the quenching medium as the oil. Now, the next problem we are going to have is also a problem involving compressive stress. As is stated, a short compression member made of AISI C1030 by steel has rolled. There is a load of 15,000 pounds repeated one direction. Determine the dimensions B and X, if X is equal to 3B, based on near the strength and based on ultimate strength. We have here the short compression member subjected to compressive force. We are given here the material AISI C1035 as raw. The load is 15,000 pounds, repeated one direction, where X is equal to 3B. So we are required to find for the value of X and B based on yield strength. X and B based on ultimate strength. So the solution we are going to have, first we try to find for the uh, yield strength and ultimate strength of the material. So from table 87, page 576, design of material elements by Birhil Morimir, for AISI, C1035 as well, yield strength is 55 KSI, ultimate strength is 85 KSI. From page 20 of the same book, Design of Machine Element by Bill Hilmarin Field, for repeated one direction, the yield strength or the factor of safety based on yield is 3. Factor of safety based on ultimate is 6. Finding for the dimensions based on year strength. The design stress will be equal to 55 KSI over 3, that is 18.33. The, de the design stress based on year is equal to F over A, where it will be equal to 18.33 KSI equal to 15,000 pounds over P multiplied by 3B. So that we will have here P equal to the square root of 15,000 pounds over 3 multiplied by 18,330. That will be equal to 0.273 of an 8. 
Now, that decimal figure computed value of 0 0.0273 is within the range of 3 over 16 to 7 over 8. So the denominator of the fraction of an inch that we will use is over 16. So we will have the computed value with the lower value. Before we use the higher value, that is uh, higher than 0.273, we check this one pair. So that is 273, 0.273 subtracting 0.25, that will lead to a zero point two three. If we divide it by 0.273, that will give us four point something percent. So that is more than four. So if it is more than 4%, we use the lower value. That is why we have here 5 over 16 of an inch. For H, that will be equal to 3 multiplied by the computed value for the B, which will give us 0 0.819 of an inch. Now that 0.819 of an inch is within the range of 7 over 8 to 3. So the denominator of the fraction we can use is over 8. So that is 0.819 lower value is 0.785 equivalent to 7 over 8. So from 819, subtracting 0.718, that is the percentage difference will be less than 4%. So we can use the lower value at 7 over 8 of an inch. Now we consider the dimension based on ultimate. Now this is one thing that we must always take into consideration to make the solution shorter. Because we have already taken the dimension based on yield strength. So by comparison, you can see that our design stress based on yield is equal to F over A. So we have here the base on ultimate. Using the same formula, the only difference is the design stress based on year, but F and A are still the same. So to make the solution shorter, we can refer from this equation in here. That is the force divided by the design stress with the three in here. That is why I just simply consider B equal to the square root of 15,000 pounds over three times the design stress based on oh, ultimate, the design stress based on ultimate, which was taken at 14,166. So based, considering the dimension of P and X, based on ultimate strength, as I have stated a while ago, that 
we can simply consider the values. That is changing simply the design stress based on ultimate from the equation of the design stress based on yield from here. So we simply substitute the design stress here. So we will have here that is P is equal to 0.594 upon H. So taking it from the prepared sizes, that is the lower value of 0.5. So if we if we subtract 0.5 from 0.594, we will have a difference of 0 0.094. 0 0.094, dividing it by 0.594. Now we consider the dimension B based on ultimate strength. So we will use the same force and this multiplier, which is 3, with the design stress based on ultimate. And we will have B is equal to 0.594. So 0.594, if we consider the, the prepared size, which 0.594 is within the range of 3 over 16 to 7 over 8. So considering the lower value for this computed value is 0.5, half of an inch. So 0.5 subtracted from 0.594, that will give us 0 0.94. 0 0.094. Dividing it by 0.594, that will give us more than 4 to 5 percent. Having a difference of more than 4 to 5 percent, we cannot use the lower value. Instead, we use the higher value, that is 9 over 16. So considering the x, that will be equal to 3 multiplied by 0.594, which will give us 1.72 of an inch. Now, check it. If we can use the lower value or the, we use the higher value. This is within the range of 7 over 8 to 3, so that the denominator of the fraction we can use is over 8. The lower value for 1.72 is 1.75. 1.75. So, subtract. Subtracting 1.75 from 1.72, that will give us 0, 0, 3, 2. 0, 3, 2 divided by a figure more than 1, more than 1, will give us a, a very, very low percentage difference. So lower than 4 to 5 percent, we use the lower value of 1 and 3 points.